Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Dunn, and I am a network engineer. And together we're Tabletop Coffee. Where we are bold and never, ever bitter. And tonight we're asking the question, can watching television save your marriage? Stay tuned and we'll talk about it. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, that is such a funny topic. But I was going through our video uh, last week, mm -hmm. the magic five and a half hours, I'll put that up here. And part of that we were talking about, is it a good thing or can you use that towards your time during the week? Mm, yeah. And so what are your thoughts now? I mean, that was recorded three years ago. Yeah, the magic five and a half hours. Yeah, over mm. three years ago we did yeah, that. Yeah, sure was which is looking at master couples. Masters are people who make decisions I don't like, they make decisions mm. you don't like, but they report happiness in a relationship, and that's right. a master couple. And disasters are people who either hang on and it sucks, it's terrible, or mm. get a divorce. So you right. have the masters and the disasters. Right. And there are certain things that disaster couples do that make them ma uh, disasters. Right. But there are certain things that... D that the master couples do that really make them master couples. And one is this whole issue of time. Yeah. Which is which, five and a half hours, right? That's right. Five and a half hours, 20 to 25 minutes a day. Oh, Deep, this debriefing your day, Ooh. going through things and just talking about your day. But we also talked about TV. Yeah. So I began to, in that video, I think, talk about mindful rituals of connection. You I did. Think. Yeah. And a mindful ritual of connection is this. Any activity that both people enjoy, mm. that can be relied upon, that reflects and reinforces who they are as a couple. That's right. So the big thing is uh, any activity both people enjoy and they know is going to happen and they can count on it. Mm. So a couple right. do oftentimes ask, they'll say, you know, hey, um, does watching TV count? Yeah. Well, let's see if it meets the definition. Sure. Is it an activity? Yes, it is. Do both people enjoy it? Depends on what the show is. Exactly. But it can be. It can be. Yes. And do you know it's going to happen? Yeah. So it can be a mindful ritual of connection, but both people have to enjoy it. That's and right. And it has to take place on, on a very regular basis. So, yes, it, watching TV can be a really wonderful, mindful ritual of connection that not only counts mm -hmm. toward your magic five and a half to six hours per week, but it can be a thing that really not only sustains, but makes the relationship better. So, yes. Yeah. And I was thinking about examples of that because, you know, I think of Lisa and I, and there are, there are so many shows that we will watch together. Like right now, we're watching The Rookie. And mm. that's something that we'll both enjoy and, yes. and we'll get into. And, you know, I'll like maybe one aspect and she likes the other. But we're able to talk about different things that happen through right. the show. So it builds that connection during the show and after the show. Mm -hmm. But if I were to turn on one of my sci-fi shows and do like <laughs> The Matrix or throw Star Trek up or something like that, there's no connection there at all because mm -hmm. Lisa has no interest at all in things that are science fiction. And I know that. Yeah. So I might watch something like that on my own, but I know that's not going to build that connection with her. So I yes. try to Perfect. find those things that work together mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. So one of the shows that Kim and I used to watch when we had regular television was... <laughs> The show The Big Bang Theory. Oh, yeah. And then we stopped getting regular television and just got Hulu, and it's mm. not on there. No, it's on HBO. Yeah. So I said to Kim, I know that that's a really a wonderful show that she really does enjoy. Right. And I enjoyed it. And yeah. we enjoyed watching it together. That's so right. So I said, let's, let's buy it. Okay. And so we've bought the whole series now, and we're in season eight. I okay. think it is going through that. But we look forward to it every night. Mm. We enjoy it. We have good memories of it. And we're already looking forward to the next night. Ah, so yeah. it's, a, it's a wonderful mindful ritual of connection. So I know yeah. some people out there are likely poo-pooing this idea. I know. Of, <laughs> of television being something that saves or even could make your marriage great. But it really can if both people enjoy it. Yeah. Now, I would throw a caveat out there. I don't think it can be every bit of your conversation. No. I think there needs to be other times where you're sitting down and spending Absolutely. time together talking about what happened during your day. Mm -hmm. But this can add to that. You can. You gotta have about 20 minutes per day, 20, right. 25 minutes, 
debriefing your day, talking about the fabric of your day, the the highs, the lows, and the minutiae in between. Mm, Right. And then you can have some other things that are planned, have some of the things that are spontaneous, including television. So it's, it's all of that that's in there. I think so, too. Yeah. Hey, I hope you liked our content. If you did, would you please subscribe? Because we would really appreciate that. Yeah, and ding that bell so you're notified of upcoming episodes. Oh, and you can watch this together with your spouse or your significant (laughs) other. I guarantee it'll give you things to talk about. Make sure to like it. Yep, share it with your friends. Thanks, everyone. (laughs) Until next time.